Key canceling on Xenoverse 2 is definitively one of the most controversial topics in this community. And honestly, one of the more controversial topics I've seen in gaming communities in general. Because it's really odd how many people fall on one side to the other. Like, it is almost like a 50-50, 60-40 split in terms of the people who think key canceling should be in this game and those who think it should not be in this game. Now, whether you think it should be in the game or not, we have definitive proof that dips 110% intended this to be in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. And I'm intending, or I'm assuming they intended it to be in the game to help speed it up greatly. Because if you really think back, Xenoverse 1 was, well, fairly slow in terms of its pacing. Key canceling definitely helps that pacing out a lot and gives you a lot more movement options at the same time. So personally, I'm not one who minds key canceling at all. I think it's actually good for Xenoverse 2. But again, whether you stand on the side of not liking it or not, after watching this, you cannot say that it is not intended to be in this game. Because this comes in from the homie Unleashed Dan. Because I put out a tweet. I don't really want to show the tweet because there i was basically showing somebody's name and i don't want you guys to attack this person on youtube or anything like that by any means so i'm not going to show my tweet but basically i just showed a screenshot of someone saying that uh key canceling is a glitch on xenoverse 2 that needs to be fixed essentially that's pretty much what the comment said right so i put out a tweet saying can we stop this narrative it's almost been seven years on this game then the homie dan replies with a couple things he said there's literally an instant instance of a xenoverse 2 dev key canceling with super baby 2 which we're going to take a look at and then also this part right here is like the official 100 percent confirmation that dimps intended this to be in the game without a doubt because he says also this is baked into every move set in the game it's the link flags which determine the action that you can do after performing any combo the devs had to specifically check key blast in here so the fact that key blast is checked right here means the devs had to do this and did this knowing that you would be able to use a key blast immediately after a combo input like well what you see on xenoverse 2 so this without a doubt confirms that dimps intended this to be in the game whether you like it or not you cannot say that it is a glitch on xenoverse 2 no this is a hundred percent intended to be this way on this game now besides this if you actually take a look at this gameplay from super baby 2 because this is like the dev gameplay when they used to actually have those streams and they would actually showcase the dlcs things like that in streams when we got those they would show actual gameplay and you would see the devs and people from bandai playing the actual game right so take a look at this right here boom knocks them down key cancel into a sidestep or a a step uh dash whatever you want to call that it is very clear that he did that on purpose. I mean, let's look at it again. Hold up, did we go too far back? I think I may have gone a little bit far back, but I'm not gonna fast forward because we're right there. But let's look at it one more time. Boom, key cancel, dash. Clearly, he does it right there. And this is DLC 7. So, I mean, whether you question this or not, it is clearly an intended mechanic on this game now some people may say that they find it annoying they find it to be cheesy things like that personally i don't find it to be either of those there are definitive ways around it i mean have you ever heard of a block button you can literally cancel uh out key stuns and someone trying to key cancel if the key is coming at you you can just hit the block button and reflect it right back at them i promise you that is an option that you have on this game so again to me they've never really been an issue but at the same time whether you think they're an issue or not, this does officially confirm it was supposed to be in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 without a doubt. So huge, huge shout out to homie Unleashed Dan for sharing this. Please, please, please check him out on Twitter, guys. He's one of the best, and I mean one of the best modders that we have in this community. The work he does is beyond amazing when it comes to Xenoverse 2. So please check him out. Show him some love on his Twitter. It will be linked down below in the description. But let me know what you think about this down below in the comments. Now that we 100% know for a fact that Dimps actually intended this to be a mechanic in the game, because again, if they did not intend for it to be a mechanic, this checkbox right here would not be checked off with Key Blast and we would not be able to actually use it after combos, supers, ultimate awokens, and a Z vanish as well. I don't necessarily know all the ins and outs of this, but again, the homie Dan does say 
It, it's the link flags which determine the action you can do after performing any combo. The devs had to specifically check Key Blast. Again, that should let you know it was definitely a intended mechanic within Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. So let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comments. Did you think that the devs actually intended for this to be in the game? Or did you think it was just something that was there by mistake? Or are you someone who thought it was a glitch, like some people actually do in the community? Let me know where you stood before watching this video and if this changes your mind at all on Key Blast or Key Canceling and Key Stunning in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. But till next time, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed and as always, hope you have a good one. Peace, y'all.